So I just got done making a video called the best cryptocurrency trading bot strategy for 2022. And inside that video, I talked about, you know, how you as a blockchain developer have a huge advantage of creating one of these bots that don't work a lot like other cryptocurrency trading bots you might be thinking of. Because a lot of people think like crypto bots, this is your scam. Like nothing can accurately predict cryptocurrency price movements over the long term. Well, I explained that video how this bot is actually different. It's a cryptocurrency arbitrage bot. It doesn't work like most crypto arbitrage bots either. It actually uses smart contracts on a blockchain where you don't need any of your own money to trade. You can't lose money on the trades, okay? So in this video, I'm actually gonna go in depth on this strategy, talk about how you can employ it, the things that you need to understand in order to do that, and how you can actually steal this bot. Okay, so if you're new around here, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm to subscribe to this channel. And this is the exact type of cryptocurrency trading bot that I'm gonna show you how to make inside the Trading Bot Masterclass on Thursday, January 13th. So sign up to the link down below to hold your spot today. All right, so let's go more in depth on this cryptocurrency trading bot strategy for 2022. So if you haven't watched that previous video, I'll give you a quick recap. The whole idea is to create a cryptocurrency trading bot that doesn't try to predict future cryptocurrency prices. It takes advantage of arbitrage opportunities, which is where you buy cryptocurrency on one exchange and sell on a different exchange for a higher price. And you can do that with smart contracts directly on the blockchain because you have all these decentralized cryptocurrency exchanges out there. You as a developer can create a smart contract that facilitates this process where you can't lose money on those trades. And even more, you don't need money to get started because you can use flash loans. This is where you borrow millions of dollars of cryptocurrency, potentially, uh, with zero money down. As long as you pay it back in the same transaction, there's no risk you can lose that money either. So I'll break that down more in this video. Uh, but what I'm going to do is actually show you conceptually how all this works, okay? And talk about this strategy and how you can steal it and how you can use it for yourself, okay? because this is what we're gonna talk about inside that class. You know, I've done this class in the past where I've just like created a trading strategy and then given it away. But the problem with that is that every time I do that, you know, everybody who has a strategy is now competing with one another. And I think that the secret to succeeding here is actually trying things that other people aren't doing and looking at the opportunity in places where people haven't quite found it yet. That's really the key to success. And so in order to do this, you have to learn how to create your own strategies. That's what I'm gonna give you a detailed overview on how to actually do that in this video because the opportunity is expanded. There's so many variables in this process. There's different blockchains, there's different exchanges, there's different coins, there's all this type of stuff. And as you change each individual part in this equation, that's how you're able to create new strategies and potentially do things that others are not doing. So I'm not saying this is an easy thing that you're just gonna plug in and turn on a money printer and wake up tomorrow, which is a massive overnight success. But I've had lots of people ask me to reboot this class and show them how to do this. And this is what you need to understand if you want to you know, take advantage of this opportunity. All right, so let's look at a high level overview of this strategy because you need to understand how each of these components work if you're going to change it to create your own strategy. This is the basic template and you can swap out any of these modules uh, to try to create your own. So let's start off with the blockchain itself. So ever since, you know, the past year or so, uh, we've seen an explosion of activity on new smart contract platforms and a lot of them are EVM compatible, which means that they run the Ethereum virtual machine. So this uh, is a huge benefit uh, for this opportunity for a couple of reasons. One is if you're a developer and you're going to create smart contracts, which is what you need to know in order to create one of these bots, you have to have a contract that you know facilitates the arbitrage process and takes out flash loans if you want to do that. Uh, you just need one programming language. So, so if you can write a smart contract in Solidity, then you can compile that smart contract from multiple different blockchains, okay? And, you know, I'll just drop some hints in this video. Um, you know, if you look at a website like CryptoFees.info, you can see all the different layer one blockchains out there. You can just click on layer one and you've got Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, all these other ones, right? Uh, so, you you know, you can go through and see which one of these actually supports the Ethereum virtual machine. That'd be a pretty good clue as to where you might start looking for activities on this, okay? So... Uh, there'll be lots of different blockchains that support this type of thing that support Ethereum contracts. The other big benefit is that because they're EVM compatible and there's so many open source projects, that we've had a lot of um, activity migrate to these new ecosystems. So, for example, you have new decentralized exchanges that pop up because there's a lot of decentralized exchanges that are open source. Lots of decentralized exchanges that basically have the same mechanisms under the hood because they're just copy and paste uh, versions of other projects with the settings changed. Same thing for our new cryptocurrencies. All right, so you've got lots of ecosystems uh, pop up over here. 
You also have benefits of different fee structures, like some ecosystems have popped up and got a lot of activity because they have cheaper fees than perhaps the Ethereum uh, mainnet, all right? So this creates a flurry of activity of tokens being provided on liquidity, uh, pools, right? Swaps actually taking place. So there actually is legitimate trading volume um, where these types of opportunities can be uh, taken advantage of. And if you want to start looking at some ideas on some different, you know, cryptocurrency exchanges out there, I'll just drop some hints here. Like coinmarketcap.com has a list of all these, like Uniswap, PancakeSwap, DYDX, Uniswap version 2, Trader Joe, all right, one inch. Okay, so I mean, there's a huge list of decentralized exchanges out there. Um, and this is a good starting point for you to start thinking about where they are and where those opportunities might be. And then also from the cryptocurrency perspective, uh, you have lots of different cryptocurrencies expand to new blockchains or just completely uh, create new ones out of thin air on new blockchains. So this is really common when new ecosystems pop up. You have new tokens released through liquidity mining incentives, maybe on a decentralized exchange or some yield farming project. And now you have new coins out in the wild that can be traded, that can be arbitraged. And because I was saying before, a lot of these uh, you know, projects are EVM compatible, these blockchains are, then you just have a lot of ERC-20 tokens, which are essentially just copy and paste cryptocurrencies that are moved over here with some settings changed and boom, now you have a brand new cryptocurrency that can be arbed um, profitably, okay? So uh, the last three important components here are the arbitrage contract, okay? So this is what's gonna hook into each cryptocurrency exchange, exchange A, exchange B, and then you are going to, uh, you know, plug in different cryptocurrencies here, and then buy low and sell high. And if you don't want to use any of your own money to trade, you ultimately need to plug into a flash loan provider. But the good news here is that lots of projects that employ flash loans have also been forked and moved to these other chains too, to where you can actually take out flash loans, uh, which it's taken some time for that type of infrastructure to be built out on these alternative uh, layer one smart contract platforms. But now we have those, okay? And so the last thing you need is a bot. This essentially is what watches uh, the blockchain and actually checks on the cryptocurrency prices across these different exchanges. And when they fall out of sync, uh, you can essentially trigger your smart contract to take out the loan, buy on one exchange and sell on the other. Okay. So that's an overview of how it works. Now, how, how do you essentially uh, create your own strategy? So I've hinted at some of it, but really the secret is um, swapping out each of these components. So, you know, you can search, you can start with one blockchain that you might think would work. Okay. So essentially you start with that blockchain and you can, you can change the exchanges that you're looking for. Okay. So I'll give you a hint. Uh, some of these exchanges, like I said before, are forks of another exchange. So PancakeSwap uh, and Uniswap. All right. Or SushiSwap. Some of these look eerily similar because they have a common origin. Okay. And sometimes uh, the exchanges literally have the exact same interface. And so it's pretty easy to plug into exchanges that work the exact same way and buy on one and sell on the other in terms of a programming perspective, okay? Same thing for ERC-20 tokens. Lots of ERC-20 tokens basically work the same way. I mean, ERC-20 is a standard. So essentially you have the same types of functions on each coin, which allows you to, to make moves in between each coin uh, without really much knowledge of how different cryptocurrencies work. They all work the same way. It's a standard. It's designed to do that. That makes it easy to essentially support an infinite number of tokens. All you need to know is how the standard interface fee token works. You just have to change the token addresses. And that makes swapping these different coins in and out of the strategy super easy. And the last layers or modules to like replace or tweak would be the loan provider. Okay, if you're going to use that and then also the bot. Okay, so the good news is and as long as your, uh, you know, loan provider has a satisfactory fee structure for the arbitrage opportunities. And then also your bot doesn't necessarily need to be replaced based on these uh, things you just need to basically able to change the settings in your bot to accommodate maybe a new arbitrage contract and a new blockchain environment. And the last thing I'll say about this is that the ARB contract is ultimately what you need to be able to customize uh, more in depth as a developer. Okay, so you can definitely use a template uh, like I'm talking about here with these modules kind of plugged in. But if you want to get more advanced, then this is definitely the area where you want to hone in your coding skills to be able to plug in different parts of this and actually customize your strategies. Also, somewhat on the bot side too, uh, because this will be a process that runs, that watches the blockchain and actually calls your you know, specific ARP contract. All right, so that's an overview of every single part of this equation. That's the starting point that you need in order to create your own bot. You can essentially swap out each of these components to customize your own strategy. Okay, that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do 
inside that Trading Bot Masterclass on Thursday, January 13th. So again, I've done this class in the past where I, you know, basically create a strategy for you, hand hold your hand through the entire process, and then give that strategy away. The problem with that is, you know, every time I do that, now everybody's competing with one another and the strategy just doesn't really work as well uh, once everybody has it. So for everybody who's asked me to reboot this class, the best, most fair way for me to do this is just show you how to create one, give you an example and show you exactly how to customize it, just like I talked about in this video today, so that you can formulate your own strategies. Because at the end of the day, that's the best shot you have for success if you want to try to take advantage of this opportunity. So make sure you sign up for the link down below to hold your spot today. So that's all I got. As always, smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps this video out so the more people can learn about blockchain. And if you're as fast as technology as I am, you want to get your hands dirty, you can't wait for that class. You just want to start coding today. You can get my YouTube homepage. You can find my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to take the next step or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you a master blockchain step-by-step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You don't have to be an expert to get started today. I thought people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.